I think what Mark and Roma are doing to give uh, voice and vision to the Bible on the small screen is really one of the most important things to happen to Christianity in the last 100 years. Today, faith-based films are more popular than ever. Last year was a banner year for Christian content, and the trend appears to be continuing. The recent success of the Bible miniseries proved that people are hungry for content that speaks to the soul. God is with us! Follow me! Since the Bible aired, other religious-themed projects have experienced similar success. I'm going to be betrayed to my enemies. There have certainly been a great number of faith-based movies that have done incredibly well. But I feel like when the Bible series, miniseries aired, it showed everyone that, wait, there are millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of people in this country that really want to see more spiritual content. It really was kind of a, an encouragement to many of us to think that there is a hunger, an interest in, in the basic Bible message. It feels like the industry and people are more open to it than, than I've experienced uh, being in entertainment. So that's really exciting um, and very rewarding because now there's a chance to do things that you know maybe a few years ago we couldn't do. I think when Hollywood stays to the script, of the Christian message and remain true to it. Christians and people who are interested in faith-based films, I think are drawn to that. But what's happening now is that there are programs like AD, like the Bible series, that's far more than just preaching. Everything that's happening is gonna pave the way for new production. And it won't be just, hey, let's go see that great Christian film. I want it to be, let's go see that great film because it's got a great story. For believers, such as the producers of this show, you always want to bring people to the Word of God. But even if people aren't brought to Scripture or brought into the churches, they're still going to have a new awareness of and hopefully appreciation of this message of Jesus and His Gospel. I can't help but think that an unbeliever accessing the book of Acts through the way it's portrayed in film can't help but have a very powerful effect. I think what AD is, is going to do is going to, it's going to spark interest in the Bible, but then folks are going to want to go deeper and learn more. To assist viewers with this, NBC has also created a first ever companion program called Beyond AD, beginning April 12th. It'll be available online at NBC.com and participating stations. It'll serve as a discussion platform for AD fans. Well, I think it certainly is a great way of getting people interested in and excited about the text. And then if they're drawn into the text, then they can start to learn more of the details of it. It's a very accessible part of scripture that has largely been left untouched. I think it would be so cool. Honestly, the Bible is exciting. God intended for these stories to inspire, to give hope, and also to be heartbreaking at times as well. And that's you know what really wrapped into uh, to AD The Bible Continues. We've now seen how this exciting new series was born journeyed on location to Morocco, and heard from the actors who bring this story to life. Now it's time to see it for yourself. AD The Bible Continues kicks off tonight. Be sure to join millions of Americans who will be finding faith in prime time on NBC.